welcome back dear students today uh, we are going to be talking about plasma membrane uh, cells uh, as we have seen in the introduction to physiology are made from organelles that are bound and contained within a plasma membrane the plasma membrane pm is the structure that determines the boundary that differentiates the inside of the cell from the outside although it's imperative there be adequate exchange and communication between the inside and outside of cells uh, the fluid on the outside is called the extracellular fluids ecf and is very different from the composition of the internal fluid of a cell which is called the intracellular fluid icf Therefore, the plasma membrane allows for transport and exchange, but also maintains the differences between the two sides. What are the components of the plasma membrane of cells? A typical cell membrane has a composition of lipids from 40 to 60 percent, arranged in a double lipid bilayer, uh, proteins, from 30 to 50 percent are proteins which are inserted either partly or completely through bilayer and carbohydrate carbohydrate uh, from five, uh, five till ten percent and uh, carbohydrates which attach to extracellular fluid ECF site uh, this percentage can vary significantly depending on the specific type of cell in the body. Uh, the phospholipid bilayer of plasma membrane is arranged with one surface facing the extracellular fluid or outside of the cell and the other surface facing the extracellular fluid, intracellular sorry, fluid uh, or inside of the cell. There are various proteins uh, embedded and some proteins span the entire membrane completely, uh, integral proteins, and can act as transporters, while others are located on the one side or the other only and do not span the entire membrane. They are peripheral, peripheral proteins. Uh, Next question, general function of plasma membranes. First, very significant function of plasma membrane. Uh, plasma membrane is a physical barrier. The plasma membrane acts as a physical barrier. It physically separates the inside of the cell containing ICF from the outside of the cell containing ECF. Second, a uh, very important uh, function is regulation of exchange between extracellular and intracellular fluids. Uh, next function, uh, plasma membrane is a structural support. Structural proteins are tethered to the internal or intracellular aspect of the plasma membrane in order to create the internal structural support for the cell. Uh, this internal framework is referred to as the cytoskeleton of the cell. And the next function, uh, also absolutely significant, crucial function, is communication uh, between the cells. Next functions of membrane lipids. Uh, first, uh, phospholipids, usually about 75% uh, in the cell of lipid content, lipid content in the cell membrane. The head of uh, phospholipid is a polar glycerol phosphate that is hydrophilic and has a non-polar fatty acid tail at the hydrophobic end. Typically, one fatty acid is saturated and the other is unsaturated. Uh, cholesterol usually about 20 uh, to 30 percent 
uh, of lipid content. Uh, this four uh, ranged uh, lipid structure inserts into the hydrophobic center with the non-polar fatty acid tails. Cholesterol helps to stabilize the plasma membrane. It functions to keep membranes impermeable and yet flexible. Glycolipids. Glycolipids usually about 5% of the lipid content. The prefix glyco means glucose or sugar. So a uh, glycolipid is a small amount of a sugar attached to a large amount of lipid. Uh, glycolipids are found on the external surface of the plasma membrane and act as cell markers. Uh, this helps identify the cell as cell to defense cells of the body. Membrane carbohydrates. Uh, plasma membrane carbohydrates attach to both lipids and proteins. The glycocalyx is a protective layer on cell, uh, on cell surface formed by glycoproteins when glucose attaches to the membrane of proteins and glycolipids when glucose attached to membrane lipids. The carbohydrates of the glycocalyx play a critical role in identifying cells. Uh, for example, the carbohydrates of the glycocalyx in human blood cells differentiate the main ABO blood group from one another. Membrane proteins. Uh, first, there are associated proteins. These are proteins that are attached loosely to membrane spanning proteins or to polar regions of phospholipids and they do not span the plasma membrane. They are also termed peripheral or extrinsic proteins. They cannot function as membrane transporters because they uh, don't span the entire membrane. Uh, they typically function as enzymes, receptors, or uh, structural components of the membrane. Uh, second type is integral proteins and membrane spanning proteins. Uh, these are tightly bound into the phospholipid bilayer and are also termed intrinsic proteins. While a few integral proteins uh, only extend pathway into the membrane, most are membrane spanning proteins. Membrane spanning proteins have uh, segments that cross the membrane uh, multiple times, uh, looping in, a, in and out of regions, carbohydrates attach to extracellular loops and phosphates attach to intracellular loops. The next type of proteins are glycoproteins. As mentioned above, the prefix glyco means glucose, so a glycoprotein is a small amount of a carbohydrate, sugar, attached to a large amount of proteins. Uh, glycoproteins are also found on the external surface uh, of the plasma membrane and act as a cell markers for identification and uh, communication between the cells.